You know, in our spiritual walk and in our Christian life, we are taught a lot about forgetting the past and just looking towards the future and what God has for us. And that's an accurate teaching when it comes to our past failures and past sin in our lives and all of those things. Uh, the Bible does teach us that forgetting those things which are behind, I press towards the mark of the high calling which is in Christ Jesus. But the Bible also has a lot to say to, to the believer about remembering, particularly remembering your past blessings. Maybe you find yourself in a place today where it would be important for you to just take a little time this morning and remember all that God has done for you. Listen to Exodus 13 and verse number 3 this morning. And Moses said unto the people, Remember this day in which you came out from Egypt, out of the house of bondage. For by strength of hand the Lord brought you out of this place. This morning I want you to remember your own history with God. I want you to think back to where you were in your life when you first reached out to God. Remember the times when God expressed His love toward you by blessing you with things that you didn't even deserve. I want you to remember the love you felt for Him, the joy you had of just being in His presence. Take time to reflect today on how God has used you in your life to bless others. How he led you when you had no clue which way to go. Yeah, guys, today is all about remembering your past blessings. Because God knows that when you remember all that he has done for you in the past, you'll be confident in his ability to do it today. Does anybody out there need a blessing today? Well, start today by focusing on God's past blessings in your life. Those times when you felt his favor, when you had a sense of deep commitment and satisfaction in knowing that God was near. Maybe today life seems harder, less predictable, maybe even more difficult to figure out. And maybe you've had this fleeting thought that somehow God is not as close as he used to be. But he is in the same place he's always been, right beside you. Even when you think he is absent, rest assured in knowing that he is ever present. So this morning, pause just for a moment, wherever you are, whether it's in your favorite chair, whether it's drinking a cup of coffee, whether it's driving down the road, wherever you are, pause for a moment. Now take a deep breath and begin to remember the experiences that you and God have had together in the past. Mentally, or maybe even down on a piece of paper today, list the times when you felt comfort and peace in the presence of Christ. See, like I said before, we often teach the importance of letting go of the past, but today God is saying, I need you to remember the past. Just thank the Lord today for all his past blessings in your life and get yourself in position this morning to receive the blessings of today. I pray that blessing over you today. I pray that you would have spiritual eyesight to see right now just how far God has brought you in your life. You may not be where you want to be in your life. You may still be going through some struggles in your life. But you're a far cry from where he found you. And I think today is a great day to just thank him for all those past blessings and remember them one by one. Lord, we thank you today that you have been our God through all our years, through the highs and lows, through the valleys, through the victories, through every season of our life. We call upon remembrance today as we think about just how much you have blessed us. Pray you go out today and you be safe, you be strong, and you be blessed. And know today that the same God whose blessings rested upon you in times past 
is ready to do it again today. And he will. Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. Until then, I pray blessings upon you. May God keep you. May God's favor shine upon you. And you have a great and wonderful day.